Greetings everybody and welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. Today I'm doing an aerial uh, pole shoot. So we're gonna have a mobile pole unit set up here in this parking lot. And the reason we're choosing this is because of this mural right here in the background. Uh, one of the pole artists, I believe their friend drew it. So we're gonna use this as our background. So this is one of the angles. Um, the sun is up over here. It's a little bit more in front of the mural than I was thinking it would be. I tried a sun checker thingy online and I was thinking it would be more so over in this area so we'd get a little bit more side lighting, but it's a little bit more in front than I like. So the angle that I kind of like is this one right here, but this really flows into the, the sky up here on the building really flows well into the truck. I think I want to use this uh, as the background, but then we can have our pole set up right around here facing up here and I'll have the background fall out of focus a little bit. All right, so once everybody got there, we decided to go with a more direct front shot. So we set up the pole here. And if you haven't seen one of these uh, auto traveling poles uh, set up, they're pretty cool. Uh, what you do is you have a pivot point in the middle where the pole goes onto and these legs will pivot around that point and then you set them out evenly. There's about eight of them. And then there's these little platforms that are in like pie shapes and you just place those around and use the uh, legs as a support. And then you place them all around to get a circle and then you pop the uh, pole up in the middle. But this thing's really cool how it sets up. So then after the pole got set up, I ended up moving to setting up lights and I tested a two light setup to have kind of a cool side light sort of look to it but with the sun being so bright on the left hand side camera left i just didn't need that light on the left hand side so i ended up going with a one light setup and using a 8400 pro on camera right with a palsy buff uh, strip box it's a 10 by 36 inch strip box double diffused so i'm running this light on pretty much full power the entire shoot and I have it as close as I can to the model to get as much light output as I can onto the model. Ideally, I think having maybe an 8600 or one of those 8200s, maybe another stop or two, would have been really nice for the day we had today because it's so bright outside. But I think overall, these 400 Pros worked really well in this situation. So once we had the light set up, it was just shooting the rest of the day. The models knew the poses and everything that they wanted to get. And for camera, I'm using a 5D Mark III with an 85 millimeter lens. And I ended up shooting with a tripod for consistency, just in case I needed to Photoshop anything out of the background, which actually worked out pretty well because there was a guy who would come out and smoke on the fire escape. And I was able to easily remove him using the background from some of the other images. So I wanna thank everyone who participated. I'll leave some links down below to some of the people's Instagrams so you can check them out. If you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them and thanks everyone for watching.